If President Trump's behavior has ever qualified him for the immediate application of the 25th Amendment, an option seriously and rightfully discussed by intelligence officials from the start of his presidency, his actions and statements this week, after he convinced himself and his followers that the Mueller report has exonerated him of all claims of collusion and obstruction of justice charges despite having never read a word of it, should be setting off a rush to call the nice young men in their clean white coats to come to take him away. Trump has gone completely off the rails since last Sunday as his seeming vindication, albeit temporary, unleashed a sense of renewed power in the unhinged president. To the delight of Democrats who managed to regain control of the House of Representatives in the midterms by pointing to Trump's attempts to take away their health care, Trump renewed his efforts to not only remove coverage of pre-existing conditions from Obamacare, but to nullify the law altogether, much to the dismay of Republicans who see their chances for a 2020 victory being flushed down the toilet. His rambling, nonsense-filled speeches at his rallies full of like-minded bigots have been festivals of self-aggrandizement, attacks on his opponents, and a more bountiful than usual cornucopia of lies, falsehoods, and malevolent mendacity. It is his obsession with immigration and his border wall solution, an answer that only the feeblest of ignoramuses would consider an intelligent idea, that Trump has returned to again and again as he contemplates his future of unobstructed power. He took to Twitter after lining his pockets through today's taxpayer-funded golf excursion at his Florida course with another attack on Democrats that threatened the same type of violence that his earlier tweets claiming support from the police, the military, and bikers for Trump. While families separated at the border and their children who were detained in cages might not agree with the president's assessment of the supposedly kind behavior exhibited by Homeland Security's ICE agents, to date as they were forced apart, Trump's threat of unleashing a policy of intentional abuse, as he seems to suggest, should inspire immediate action to remove him from office rather than mere condemnation. We've all seen enough evidence of Trump's allegiance to white nationalist beliefs and his hatred for anyone whose skin color is darker than his own fake orange hue. Only a nation of insane people would tolerate the deeply disturbing misanthropy of a man so obviously psychologically and sociopathically disturbed 